In this video, I'm going to show you a really fun game that will improve your players' 1v1s, decision making and forward passing. There are different variations to this game, so you can adapt the practice according to the numbers you have at your session. I have 150 1v1 drills that I will be sharing over the next few months, so make sure you are following Zaletto. For these under 8, under 9 players, we played on a 20 by 30 yard pitch with two goalkeepers playing a 1v1 with the black player scoring in the top goal. In this version, we have the magic man in orange who is always on the attacking team to make a 2v1. This is a simple game looking at decision making of the player on the ball. Decision whether to pass or beat the defender on their own. That was a great decision to pass to a teammate who's in a better position higher up the pitch. Within the game, we also look at the small detail of taking touches directly towards goal to give yourself the best chance of scoring. Here, the blue player could have passed, but I like that he recognised there was an opportunity to go straight for goal himself and was direct with his running with the ball. Now we are doing the same practice, 1v1 plus a magic man with the under 13s on a bigger pitch. The pitch is 20 yards wide and 36 yards long. There are two goalkeepers. It's orange versus blue with the blue attack in the near goal and the red is the magic man on the attacking team. You can only score in the attacking half. Same decisions. Do you pass or take the defender on yourself? The first part to this game is spreading out. Can the two make it really difficult for the one defender by making the pitch as big as possible? This is a really fun end-to-end -end game that the players love. You quickly turn defending into attacking. I was playing first to three goals, which means you're playing for about two to three minutes. It's quite an intense game with lots of running from end to end. Try to give each player a chance to be the magic man. So now it is red versus orange and the blue player is now the magic man. This is a good fake using the teammate as a decoy. The defender does well to recover after being beaten. Offsides have been removed so players can recognize where the space is to support the player on the ball. This encourages players to make clever forward runs and then be ruthless in front of goal. This is another good example of using a teammate as a decoy. The blue player finishes brilliantly with his left foot. Now we have four outfield players, so the game has changed slightly. The pitch is 20 yards wide by 36 yards. We have two goalkeepers and it's 2v2 out on the pitch. At the moment, players are locked in their own half with the Blues attacking the near goal. Players can use a goalkeeper at any time. You can only score in the attacking half. This is brilliant play by the blue attacker. He gets faced up quickly against the defender, putting him in charge of the situation, ready to attack the goal. The goalkeeper can play to either orange player. Here the goalkeeper passes to the safe side of the attacker. It's also a great game for goalkeepers. They have to think about how they pass the ball to the teammates. Now we have changed direction with the orange team attacking the near goal. Players stay in the same half, but now their roles are reversed. This gives every player the opportunity to be the attacker and defender because the demands in each half are different. While the top attacker is waiting for the ball, he's trying to create space for himself, preparing the space by dragging the defender around and then becoming available at the right moment. For the player on the ball, they must stay on the ball under pressure, protect the ball whilst trying to find that forward pass. They always have the goalkeeper as an outlet. Here, the blue attacker faces up the defender well, attacks 1v1 to create a goal scoring opportunity. The locked in version can be a bit frustrating for players due to the limit on their movement, but it is great for 1v1s. The next progression of this practice gives a bit more freedom and there's more emphasis on the attacking. In this progression, during attacks, the back player can now enter the attacking half, either by a forward run made off the ball or by dribbling over the halfway line themselves. 
goalkeepers are to look for the most effective option. That means taking the most players out of the game if they can and putting their teammate through on goal. We're also looking for runs of support. It can be a physically tough game because we're asking players to make hard runs to join in the attack. There are similar decisions to the previous games. Do you beat the defender yourself or use your teammate? Here, the blue attacker hooks the defender well to give space to his teammate before laying off the ball. Clever play by the second blue player who pulls away and gives the orange defender a problem. The man on the ball has two options now and it has also dragged the goalkeeper slightly out of position. We then progress the practice into a 2v2 so players are allowed anywhere. This makes it harder for the attackers with recovering defenders is a bit more free flowing. There is an increase in transitions from attack to defence. A really intense game that you play for two to three minutes. When receiving the ball, the blue player recognises that the forward pass isn't on just yet. So he drives forward into the space hooks the defender towards him and creates an easy chance for his teammate. Now we have five outfield players, so the game changes. On a 20 by 36 yard pitch, split into two halves, we have two goalkeepers. We're playing a 2v2 with orange versus blue. Orange is attacking the near goal. Magic man in black who is always on the attacking team. The blue and orange player are locked in their half in a 1v1. The magic man is allowed anywhere. You can only score in the attacking half. Every three minutes, we change direction to give every player the chance to face different situations. This is great play by the magic man in black. He recognises he has space with a quick check behind him. He hooks the defender well before perfectly timing his pass to set the teammate up for an easy finish. Exploiting the 2v1 brilliantly. Watch the clever movement from the blue attacker here as he creates space for the magic man. Recognising the right time to pull away off the shoulder of the defender. He gives the orange defender a real difficult problem. Does he go to the ball or does he stay with the runner? This game creates so many goal scoring opportunities so the players absolutely love it. Here we have a change of direction again with the blues attacking the top goal and a change of magic man. They work hard for two to three minutes and then during the rest period of 30 to 60 seconds that's my time to then come in and coach. Here, the blue attacker first pulls away before making a diagonal run. If he was to stay still, it would be easier for the defender. But this movement gives him a problem. It really poses some difficult decision making for that defender. We have now progressed the game to allow all players to join in the attack. Normally, we would always require security at the back, but this encourages all players to have freedom to spot a chance to dribble forward or run forward and attack. We then remove all restrictions so players can go anywhere on the pitch and it's a more open 3v2 in favour of the attacking team.
try this out with your players. It encouraged them to be direct with their attacking play and they really enjoy this energetic game. 